We'll be building and deploying a blog powered by Hugo to GitHub pages via a custom GitHub Actions to build a blog that looks just like this. And right before making this video, I drafted a blog post on how you can set up Hugo, configure GitHub Actions, and link custom domain to GitHub pages. So feel free to go over that. I'll put a link to the post in the description box below. So the first thing we need to do is install Hugo and create a new site. And in order to do that, you can use Homebrew install Hugo if you're on Mac. And if you don't have Homebrew installed on Mac, you can go to brew.sh and copy this command and paste it on your terminal. And once you have brew, you can install Hugo and you can do Hugo new site and name it however you want with the F flag specifying the type of the config file that you want to use. And once you run that, that's going to create the directory called the playbook demo with different directories that's provided by the Hugo framework. And one of the first thing we want to do is edit the config file and get rid of this base URL that's provided for us and just leave that MD for now. And then we can create a new page using the Hugo new command. Here, I'm going to create a test.md file under the docs directory. And you can see how the docs slash testmd has been created under the content directory. And we can run Hugo server to run this locally, but we first want to install the theme. And right before installing the theme, let's just initialize our git here. And let's go to the official Hugo documentation or actually the themes. So here you're going to see different themes that you can install. In our case, we will be using paper mod and you can click this download link, which will redirect us to the paper mod repository. And down here, it's going to show you how you can install it. So the first thing you want to do is actually clone this repository, paste that command here. And then we also want to add this as the sub module. Like that. And you're going to see inside the themes directory, we're going to have the paper mod sub module here. One other thing we want to do is edit this config.yaml down here. I'm going to specify the theme as paper mod. And let's just add some content inside our test.md file before we actually render it. And one of the important things that we have to do here is to set draft as false. Otherwise, it will not render on the page. And let's just say this is a test page and the content saying it's a test page. Save that and we can run Hugo server to run this locally and that's going to run on localhost 1313 to see our page running on the port. And you can click this test post that we just created and you can see how that's added to our docs slash test path. So now that we have confirmed that this is running as intended, we can now create a Git repository. So I actually already created the playbook dash demo repository here. So I'm just going to copy this command here and actually add a readme as well. So I'm going to just add this simple title there and just commit this. And set the main branch and add this remote address and add it to the main branch. So if you come back here and refresh, we can see how these have been added. And now that we have created our repository, the next thing we want to do is to add the configuration file for the GitHub actions. And there are actually two important steps that we want to do here before pushing any changes. The first is to create 
the gh-pages branch. Otherwise, um, the GitHub Actions will later throw an error when we try to run one of the steps in the job. So now you can see we have the GitHub Pages branch, and that is a special branch that GitHub uses for its GitHub Pages. And the other thing you want to do is come to Actions General, scroll down to the bottom and set the read and write permissions and save this here. So now that that has been saved, we want to create our deploy.yaml file under .github slash workflows. So we first want to actually create these directories, name it .github dash workflows. And inside that, I'm going to create a deploy.yaml file. And let's actually open that file. And I will just copy this entire GitHub Action workflow here. So just copy this entire thing here and paste it, save it. And before we push any changes, we actually have to edit that base URL that we got rid of. So I'm going to edit the config.yaml. And here, our base URL will be github.io slash the name of the repository, which in our case is the playbook dash demo. And based on my understanding, you also need this trailing dash right here. So I'm going to save that and let's just check the status. I'll just add all of those and commit this at the first test page and push the changes and go to actions and let this load and while that is loading let's actually go back to the steps here so i did include what each of these steps are for and if you do have questions feel free to comment down below but the first step checks out our repository under the github workspace and set the submodules equal true, which ensures that our submodule for the theme repository is fetched as well. So this GitHub workspace is a variable that is set by GitHub itself. You can come to the GitHub docs to see how it sets the workspace to something like slash home slash runner slash work and so on. And we're actually gonna see that as part of our log here. In case you're not familiar with GitHub Actions, if you see checkout source, it's gonna check out, um, let's see, initializing the Git repository. It's gonna show you how you initialize Git repository under home runner work, the playbook demo slash the playbook demo. So that's gonna check out our repository. We also have to check out our destination branch which will be gh pages, gh dash pages. And this is a special branch that GitHub recognizes. So I wrote down here. So GitHub pages is a special branch that GitHub recognizes and used to publish to your GitHub pages site. So what we are doing in this step is referencing that GitHub pages through this built site directory. So if this doesn't make sense, Let's go to actions slash checkout repository. And down here, they describe different parameters that are used in the checkout action. So down here, you can see the path is referring to the relative path under the GitHub workspace to place the repository. So we are placing the build site directory under the GitHub workspace path, and this is used to reference the gh-pages branch. So we configure this here, which we'll use later here. But before we set up Hugo, where we install the Hugo from the releases page and untar it and use that Hugo command to, to build our static sites that will be stored in the public directory by default. 
And during the last step, we are copying all our static site output in the public directory into the build site directory, which references the gh-pages. So when we do a git push, that's going to push to GitHub pages, which the GitHub then recognizes and used to publish to the GitHub pages site. So that's why when we look at these actions, we can see two different workflows has run. The first one is for the main branch and the second one is by the GitHub pages to publish our changes to the GitHub pages. And this is something we didn't configure and it's just done by the bot. So if you click this workflow, you can see how it has been deployed on this path that's given to us. And if we go into this path, we can see that our Hugo site has been deployed. Last thing we want to do is link a custom domain to GitHub pages because we don't want to be using this default github.io path URL that's given to us by default. So the first thing you want to do is purchase your domain from a DNS provider such as Namecheap and GoDaddy. And once you've purchased that, so you can go to settings, pages, and enter your domain here. But because I already set this up in my other directory, I'm going to show that there. So when you save your custom domain at first, this DNS check is going to fail. So what you actually need to do is go into your DNS provider and in Namecheap, you can click your domain and come to advanced DNS. And you can add these four IP addresses to GitHub pages as A records and a CNAME record that's pointing to your github.io URL. And that is all described in this link down here that I shared with you. So if you go into this page shared by the GitHub docs, it shows you how you can configure an Apex domain by saving these as A records. So these are IP addresses for GitHub pages, which will then handle the rest of the stuff for us. And it says here how you would also want to set up a subdomain. So it tells you how you can add this as the CNAME record. And for more detail, you can scroll up a little bit and it's going to show you how you can add your github.io as CNAME record. So you can add these uh, records here, which is going to take some time to load. But once that has been done, you're going to see under your settings how it says the DNS check is successful. And it might take some time, as I said. But once that's done, you will be able to access the page through that custom domain that you set there. And that is pretty much everything you needed to publish your blog powered by Hugo on GitHub pages. And if you're interested in looking at how I set up this homepage information and add some custom CSS to modify some of the default CSS, you can come to this DHIJ slash the playbook repository to see how the changes were added by going to the code and looking at different commits that I added. But that wraps up my video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you all for watching.